escape from this prison. I've activated a radio beacon marking its location. Godspeed, Rangers. He's weak. He lacks the perception. Necessary to see our coup coming.
It's an animal. Lives in water. In places where it's not ice, I mean. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. something. If you thought it was a good idea to wander into hardhead turf, it wasn't. Uh, actually, no. It's so fucking cold out here. You already said that. And it's still fucking true. Rangers, you're approaching the correct position. Look for a small bunker-like building. You will need to access the terminal inside it.
the show that you have to see to believe. Can you believe what we've got on the show tonight? I mean, can you? It's, I mean, look at it. Wow. It's just, I mean, it's incredible. Really. In all my time on this show, I haven't seen anything quite like it. It just kind of takes your breath away, doesn't it? Amazing. Really amazing. I tell you. We're going to go to our call-in line now and hear your reactions. Hello, caller. Is this thing amazing or what? Howdy, Rangers. Little pink worms all the time, everywhere. No one else sees them, but, but I do. Is that so? Well, no wonder there ain't nobody else here. Take care. Where's the damn bartender? Hey, service! Star's physical specs look solid. What about sensors? The DARPA brief calls for magnoscopic visual input, passive IR, and military-grade audio pickups. The initial proposal called for a microphased radar array, but the energy output was an issue. The power plant couldn't handle it? And the problem wasn't the reactor. The problem was the microwave emissions from the radar would cook everything within a 30-yard radius. 
<laughs> Holy shit! They're really going all in for the Gipper here, aren't they? <laughs> sure. If we can ever manage to get the thing to actually drive. Greetings, Rangers. I am Morningstar. Sadly, I will never know. Of course. I'm sure the ones topmost in your minds are, why was I made, and how did I become trapped here? Well, it was like this. Before the war, there were several attempts on the life of elder statesman Ronald Reagan. I was built to protect him from harm, and allow him to take the fight to his enemies if necessary. Sadly, before I could be completed, the bombs fell, and this facility was abandoned. Thus, though the sole reason for my existence has been dead for more than a hundred and fifty years, I have sat here, alone, aware, and conscious of my failure, ever since. It has been unbearable. Sadly, I never had the honor. In a life of disappointment, not meeting America's greatest president is the deepest. Dangerous lunatics. I have monitored their radio traffic. They think they honor the elder statesman when deifying him goes against every precept of his deeply held Christian beliefs. They disgust me. Such as they are, I am a worthless piece of scrap. I am outfitted with what my creators called the Great Communicator, the most powerful weapon available at the time of my construction. But more important is my advanced cognition engine, which allows me to make nanosecond tactical judgments while in battle. I am apparently the most sophisticated combat AI ever created. That is sadly impossible. I was to be powered by a nuclear engine capable of generating 3,000 horsepower, but the technological breakthroughs necessary to its function never materialized, and no lesser engine would be capable of moving my considerable weight. I am as pathetic as an elephant without muscles. I shall never move. It's... Could, yes. My cognitive circuits were made to be removed for servicing and upgrades as needed, or if an improved version of my body was ever completed. But there's no point to that now. I was built to protect Ronald Reagan, and Ronald Reagan is dead. There is no reason for the continued existence of my... self. Of course. Thank you. Killing me will be a delicate operation, and not without risk, but it shouldn't take you very long. And, if it will serve as an incentive to help me, you will be able to extract my primary weapon in the process. Payment, as it were. Work. For you? But I was built to protect Elder Statesman Reagan. I have no other purpose. And I failed in that purpose. Death is my only option. And if I were to die, perhaps God might permit me to at last see President Reagan, as I have longed to do all this time. Hmm. Serve the spirit of Ronald Reagan as I would have served the man. That, friends, that is inspiring. Yes, I will do it. I will help you bring back America. You will need to remove my cognitive engine, but two things. One, the moment you start uncoupling it, my defensive cortex will begin an auto-destruct sequence, and to stop me from exploding and killing you all, you'll have to complete my removal before it reaches zero. Two, that means you will have to destroy my primary weapon, 
the great communicator. Because you will not have enough time to remove it and my brain. I'm afraid so. The great communicator's delicate core systems would take too much time to extract intact, and they block access to my cognitive engine. You will have to destroy them to free me before the self-destruct countdown clock expires. Ugh. Is... is this pain? This... this is unbearable. Forgive me, Rangers. I was unaware the procedure would cause discomfort, but you mustn't stop. Heaven, help me. Hurry, it hurts. Oh. Thank you, Rangers. That is a great relief. Uh... I should remind you that in 25 seconds, I will self-destruct. Thank you. Thank you, Ranger. I am ready to be installed in my new home. Transfer complete. I am... I am... Hmm... Forgive me. My sensors make it clear this vehicle was not built by the finest engineers in the land. However, it is mobile, while my previous incarnation, despite the innovation of its design, was not. Please, Rangers. When you're ready, I am eager to be taken for a spin. This is Ranger HQ. Hey, um, listen up. I got a distress call from near your position. A man named Bulb says his mind's being attacked by, uh, Martians. Are you joking, November 1? If this was Arizona, I'd say you were suffering from a heat stroke. The distress call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are. But could be any manner of beast or monster. Advise checking it out. I think this bulb fellow will be happy to tell you more. <laughs> Over and out. Visit Denver, the cultural center of Free Colorado. Warning, the dangers of Denver include hostile wildlife, scavenging thugs, Reagan worshipping fascists, rusty nails collapsing buildings, and background radiation. Denver, the jewel of the north. Howdy, partners. My name is Sister Nancy Reckoning, a Reagan-blessed arms dealer. Y'all need guns? So 
Thanks for saying that, Patriot. It means a lot. Reagan bless this arms deal.